All right, hello everyone. This is Rich, and I'm doing my uh, VHS DVD update for September 14th, 2009. Uh, it's been about a week or so since I did my last update, I think. So I got some movies. I'm gonna start off with the VHSs. A two. One, I kind of showed you real quick on that big VHS explosion. Um, I actually watched it the other day because I have no cable, so I have to watch something now. Um, it's called, let me get out of the pack here, um, Video Murder. It's a trans world tape. It apparently cost $79 back in the day. I wouldn't have paid that ever. Uh, essentially, it's a movie where a guy picks up prostitutes, takes them to a room, has a video camera set up, and has them on tape, doesn't have sex with them, just gets them kind of naked, and then strangles them. That's most of the movie, and then the last one kind of gets away, and she gets them back, or he gets, him, he gets her back and uh, then she gets away again and then eventually he kills himself on a bridge. Not really ruining anything for you in this movie. It's one of those shot on, uh, well, I'm going to coin the term shittio movies, in my opinion. And the guy on here, I don't know if you could see it because my thing focus is terrible, kind of looks like, um, oh, what's his name, from Three's Company a little bit. Just a little, right here. Fuck it, I forget his name. Anyway. Continue on. Uh, I got the uh, Paramount Full Moon release of Seed People. I don't know, I thought this movie was pretty interesting. Uh, I haven't seen it in like years. Probably since this was released, I haven't seen it. So, I'm probably going to check that one out. Another thing that was really funny, before I fucking continue... Um, if you see my video previous where I got all those VHS's, um, I thought an Alanis Morissette was song was going to start singing. Um, because as soon as I put, um, the vi video in my fucking VCR, my VCR decided to fucking not work. Yeah, good times. Um, it doesn't want to play video, it'll just play audio. And it's connected the right way, so I don't know what to do. But I have an extra VHS DVD combo, so I just put that up. It just pissed me off. I'm like, I got all these movies on fucking VHS, and then I put one in, and it just fucking shits the bed. Alright. Alright, let's continue with the DVDs. Alright. Um, this is the movie that started actually all my VHS shenanigans out. Because I had to go see this movie after I saw, um, Spoonie's, um, review of it on the SpooniesPerimented.com, um, of Robo War, starring Rep Brown and, uh, Catherine Hickland. Um, it's essentially a ripoff of, what the hell's the movie, uh, Predator. But instead of it being an alien, it's... A hyper advanced super robot that goes around killing army people. Um, I suggest if you're a fan of Red Brown, like your Hunter of the Future, or if you want to see a really kind of crappy version of Predator, or if you're a fan of Bruno Matai, because I am, then see this movie. I totally suggest it. I totally suggest you go see the Spoony Ones review before actually trying to find this movie, though. And uh, with that, on the, um, another DVD I put in there, I put the Spoony Ones uh, review and the making of and this other thing with one of the guys that did the making of. So that's also in that DVD. More minutes here. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, one I bought the other day, or my girlfriend bought for me. Um, since I'm going to be getting eventually, hopefully, Sunny, where's my fucking shit? Um, eventually, the fucking uh, work print of... Uh, Return to Sleepaway Camp, so I figured I'd get the original, or the, you know, the original Return to the Sleepaway Camp before I get the work print to know what the hell, uh, you know, the difference is. 
Um, so yeah, um, I saw this when it very first came out, like that day. I think I went and rented it. Um, I wasn't too impressed with it the first time because I loved the first three. So I was like, expect. I don't know if I was expecting too much or whatever, but I'm going to watch it again just to see. I mean, there's a lot of the original cast is in here, including the original um, kid, the girl from the originals in this. I'm not going to ruin that who it is and what have you, but it's really interesting. I think it's Isaac Hayes last released movie. That last movie he did. I think his last movie got that had gotten released. It's either that or Soul Men. Um, I mean, it's worth a watch if you're a Sleepaway Camp fan, but I don't know if you're a slasher fan if you would enjoy it. I mean, I don't know. I love Pamela Springsteen as Angela Baker. Um, I'm not a fan of the... Well, I like the first one, but I think Pamela Springsteen like made the role a lot better. I don't know. Okay, let's continue on. I'm going to show a terrible movie. And I don't want anyone to judge me because I wanted to fucking see this movie because I just never saw it. So I figured I'd burn it, put it on a fucking thing, and it's good for a laugh every now and again. So don't judge me. Don't you fucking do it. Vanilla Ice, Cool as Ice. Um, I got the HD TV transfer version of this because apparently it's not out on DVD. They have fucking, like, a special edition of Purple Rain out. I mean, granted, that's a lot better than this, but shit, they can't put this out? Um, I have yet to watch this. This is one of those movies that are going to be at the bottom of my fucking list to watch. But I will watch it eventually. I mean, if anyone wants me to do a fucking review on this movie, I'll do it. You just got to fucking request it. I got a request to talk about remakes the other day, which will be a video coming soon. Because I've been talking about remakes in my last couple craptacular movie reviews. Um, so yeah, Vanilla Ice movie. Terrible. Okay, I got like a minute here. Um, I'm redoing this, this DVD because um, I got the wrong fucking cover the other day on this fucking film. Because remember, I got, it said Adam's Family 1992 on the one version, and it had the, the original Adam's Family artwork for, for like, 1992 color, you know, cartoon of Adam's Family. Well, when I went and I got it, and I watched it, it was not the 1992 Adam's Family. I wouldn't have paid for that 1990, or I would have paid for the 1992 Adam's Family. I wouldn't have paid for the 19 fucking 73 Adams Family, I had to redo this fucking cover again because they gave me the wrong fucking cover with it. Or, or they gave, they put the, you know, they, they put the fucking wrong cover and then they put the right, right shit on the back. And the way it's worded, it could go for either fucking one. So I had to redo this motherfucking cover, piss me off, took three hours of my fucking life to do it. I don't know. I'm redo, I put it back in because it's a 1973 version and 1992 version, which I am getting because these people wanted to fucking screw me. Piss me off. Alright, I'm going to stop it here because I think I'm about 10 minutes in. Uh, hopefully it'll be just one more part. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Bye.